Right, uh, welcome home. I'm gonna show you how to make the most amazing burger. Oh, Gordon, having to deal with bad food, bad chefs, bad restaurants all the time. People might even forget that Gordon actually enjoys eating. Like we've seen in our two previous videos, it does happen, it's just pretty rare. That's why we continued to search high and low so we could show more of those happier times in Gordon's life. Perfect sausage rolls. Sausage rolls. Sausage rolls. Sausage rolls. I do like the sausage rolls, yeah. Sausage rolls are a popular British snack, so when Dustin decided to cook them for Gordon, he was making a bold move. Worse yet, Dustin got confused with Gordon's nationality. This blunder wasn't enough to take the excitement out of Ramsay, though. After all, he loves the dish. Dustin was apprehensive when Gordon took the first bite, but then Gordon took another bite, and then another. Getting Gordon Ramsay to enthusiastically eat your whole dish is quite a life achievement. You should try these rolls, Charlie. I used to dream about them. Before we move on to more Gordon Ramsay goodness, show your love and hit the subscribe button and never miss a new video from us here at Babbletop. Now, back to the show. The Miraculous Vegan Burger. I'm turning vegan for lunch only. Just in case you don't know, Gordon isn't the biggest fan of veganism, but then came Shane, who made a vegan burger with avocado fries and a sriracha sauce. The fake meat was bound with black beans and brown rice. With his first bite, Gordon was impressed. Well done. Yeah. The avocado fries looked like a delicious snack, especially when dipped in that sriracha sauce. All in all, you could say that this burger was miraculous. Impressing Gordon on live TV. Trust me, that is a burger to die for. You gotta wonder what's wrong with the people who decided to compete in the F word. If Gordon hates your food, you're going to have to endure all the criticism alive and unedited. Here, he was going to try dishes from both teams. First, it's the critique of the team licensed to grill. Now it's time for the next team, chop it like it's hot. He dipped the quesadilla in the creamy avocado sauce, and it was just too tasty of a combo. Avocado. <gasps> How about that? Gordon ate two dishes in a row, prepared by different groups, and loved both of them. That may be as rare as Haley's Comet. Just some good fries. Look at them. They are incredible. All different types of chefs from all corners of the world have tried to impress Gordon Ramsay and utterly failed. So imagine their reaction to this moment from the seventh season of MasterChef. The challenge? To cook some good old french fries. When it came time to critique Brandy's fries, Gordon was at a loss for words. They look perfectly thick and were all pretty much uniform. They had very consistent cuts with the same shape and length. A definite Gordon Ramsay must have. But, of course, they also tasted delicious. A cheap dessert. We all know that you love desserts. When Luca got called up, he wasn't confident at all. He didn't even believe his cake was properly cooked. Chef Joe was the first to evaluate, and lo and behold, Luca was wrong. The price is wrong. Next up, it was Gordon's turn to taste it. The cake might have been cooked, but would Gordon find it good? Getting a quite nice from Gordon Ramsay is not a small accomplishment. Bananas Foster from a flamboyant chef. Thanks, God. None of your chefs. No one was quite like Tommy Walton, who was a fashion designer turned chef. But Tommy wasn't just entertaining to watch, he was also a good chef. When it came to the critiques, Tommy was called first, which, as you can imagine, made him very happy. I mean... <laughs> The inside of his Bananas Foster held an even more delicious ingredient. It harbored a sweetened cream cheese. For all of you who have a sweet tooth, this probably will look quite tempting. Gordon was wowed by it. A kid chef with a phenomenal dish. Oh, yum. Watching MasterChef Junior, you sometimes get the impression that some of these kids are even better than the adults. 
Take Remy's Lamb Chops, for example. It looked like something straight out of an expensive restaurant. Gordon was in awe, not surprisingly. Kind of obvious. <laughs> the meat was perfectly seared, just the way Gordon likes it. To sum things up, just let Gordon have the final word. Absolutely phenomenal. An impressive salmon. And we'll finish that with a little touch of lemon. Look at that sizzle. Oh my god. When the judges revealed the main ingredient of the challenge, Christian was one contestant who seemed sure he would do a good job. Showing confidence in reality shows usually isn't a great look, as editors often cut these scenarios in such a way to set up people to fail. Oh, what a loser! But that wasn't the case with Christian. First of all, his plate looked amazing. When Ramsay cut the salmon open, you could almost taste it. It looked incredible. After getting so many compliments from Gordon, Christian even relaxed a bit. The salmon tasted amazing, with the spices on the dish tying it all together. An OMFG dessert. Rach, you're killing us here. Will you serve the dessert already? There's drunken dancers awaiting. When Jenna was called to show her dessert to the judges, she was ecstatic. Gordon was so excited, he didn't even wait for Jenna to finish talking. He just went ahead and tasted it. He tasted it, but hid his reaction at first. Do you really think you can cook better than me? He even laughed, seeing how the little chef was nervous. It is Gordon we're talking about, after all. He then dropped his facade. Gordon even let out an OMFG. Beef Wellington. The Wellington has to be cooked to perfection. In the very first season of MasterChef Junior, the kids had to face a tough challenge that almost seemed cruel to the kids. Not only did they have to make beef wellington, they had to make perfect mashed potatoes and sautéed broccolini. But wouldn't you know, Troy and Alexander knocked it out of the park. Oh, wow. But the question about this dish was if it was properly cooked on the inside. Gordon was stunned. He said it was phenomenal. Beef Wellington, second round. The chestnuts, the mushrooms, and that nice crisp pastry on the outside. It wasn't just one Beef Wellington that impressed Gordon. Another team made a delicious rendition of his signature dish. Not only was it properly cooked, it looked so good, even Joe was surprised. Gordon liked it so much, he was motivated to let out a bunch of adjectives. I'm in heaven. The chef was properly impressed by the 12 and 9 year old kids. We certainly want one now after looking at both of these delicious dishes. A show stopping filet mignon. Oh, yeah, me and Gordon Ramsay are both morons. Here is Alexander again cooking another perfect steak. This time, it's a pan seared filet mignon with garlic mashed potatoes. The steak, once again, looked completely delicious. Gordon only had more good things to say about the meal. So it's a proper organic beef. At 13 years old, Alexander can stand tall among a row of professional chefs. You can say that Gordon found a kindred spirit in this little chef. Alexander's dessert. The free pistachio ice cream. Here we have Alexander once again. If you thought he cooked a mean steak, wait until you see his desserts. Gordon was impressed with his choice. The end result? You guessed it. Gordon took one bite and loved it. Well done. You didn't let yourself down. He even threw manners out the window, licking the cream off of the plate out of his own hands. So how would he be able to top himself? Tasty sardines. From an ingredient in the mystery box, Sarah was able to make a professional looking dish. At nine years old, that's very impressive. Not something many kids would like to eat, let alone cook for that matter. For the critiques, Sarah first had to pass through Chef Joe. Security. He asked her a bunch of questions. Anyway, Joe loved the sardines. Gordon wasn't any different. He he complimented how good the dish looked and tasted. The salad was perfectly balanced and the sardines were delicious. The perfectly replicated sashimi. There's gotta be something I haven't tried, huh? Hey, 
Hey, what's this? Fugu. Coming up to the stands, Christine was a bit intimidated. She had to perfectly recreate the flavor and plating of one of Chef Graham's dishes, which sounds like a very hard thing to do for anyone. Well, no need to panic. There's a map to the hospital on the back of the menu. That's why it was even more impressive when she hit it out of the park. Gordon was so impressed, in fact, that he called the other judges over. Everything was right about the dish. The position, the drizzle of the passion fruit. Gordon was in disbelief. No, he wasn't. Christine was just that good. We're serving up more great videos. Just tap or click, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad.